individuals come to us and they ask, should I continue taking this supplement? Should I take this medication? If you would like to learn more about this and what you should do, be sure to watch the video to the end. All right, uh, mm -hmm. so today we're going to talk about, I would say, the three categories of individuals that we help and what our observation is based on how they approach them receiving help with their healing process. Okay. Okay. The first, I'd say the first category, and again, this is just my made up category, all right? Mm -hmm are the individuals that come in, there's some ailment, and they're already taking medications prescribed by the doctor or some herbalist, but somebody prescribes something to them, right? Mm -hmm. They could even be um, receiving some type of therapy, like chemotherapy or... Treatment of some kind. Treatment, oh, there you go, treatment of some kind. Mm -hmm. And when they come in, or when they, when they come to us, they're continuing with their regimen. They don't ask us for guidance about anything. They just keep taking their medications. They keep receiving their treatment. Mm -hmm. So that's category one. Sounds like a hurricane, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a second ca category, or category two, uh -huh. where the individuals come in, they're already taking Something could be supplements, whatever it is, but then they decide that they won't take it, or they'll stop taking it, or taking them. Okay. Or they're not taking anything, but then later they come to us and they ask us, without us prompting anything, they ask us if they should be taking anything to make them feel better. Right. Whether it's medication or some type of herb or, or acupuncture some, or acupuncture, something, right. Uh -huh. but, right? But they come to us and say, "Well, should I take this? Maybe this will help." What do you think? Mm -hmm. So that's the second category, and then the third category are the ones that, when we meet them, they tell us emphatically that the reason why they want to work with us is because they want nothing to do with taking any type of drug any type of treatment that involves radiation or anything like that. They don't want any of that. Mm -hmm. And they refuse any type of surgery. They just want to be healed naturally. Mm -hmm. Those are the three categories. Did I leave out any? As far as you know? No, no. Okay. So let's go to the first category. How about if you share your experience from the individuals we've worked with? What, what do you notice about those individuals, do you notice anything? Well, the ones who are currently taking medications um, or treatments of some kind, it seems like uh, progress might be a little bit slower for them. And once we're told, oh, well, these are medications I'm taking, these are treatments that I'm going for, then it's like, oh, okay, well, now we understand why it's, it's progressing slowly. It seems like you take a step forward and then you take a step backward. But it's all because of, a lot of the time, side effects to the treatments or the medications or the supplements that they've been taking or that they're, you know, suggested to take and that they're, you know, using. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have seen based on the individuals that we've worked with. And that's when we go in and we start working on, of course when I say we, I mean the angels, right? Mm -hmm. and we don't do the work. We don't want to sound like some big shots or something. Mm -hmm. But um, we, we ask the angels to go and take care of the side, potential side effects of these drugs right. or the treatments, or especially if it's um, it chemotherapy, right? Mm -hmm. Because we know those can be really bad based on our experience with other individuals. Correct. So we, we work with individuals with that, but then they're still taking, they're still taking the treatments. We never ask them to stop right. because 
we're not asked anything and we don't know what the guidance would be anyway. The guidance mm -hmm. might be that they should continue. We don't know. But you're right, from what we've seen, it does take them a longer time. We see nice progress, but then it, for whatever reason, it takes longer, like I said, maybe because of all the things they're doing and their side effects from all these things. Right. You know, um, I remember there's a story like that where there was this one kid that had uh, gotten in touch with, with poison on his skin. It's a story by one, one of these healers. True story. Mm -hmm. And they rushed into the hospital and they gave up on the kid. Young kid, like about eight years old. They couldn't figure what was wrong. And they, they thought he was going to die. So they told the parents and the parents, of course they were sad because they were about to lose their son. Right. And the mom remembered this one natural healer, spiritual healer, and she called him. And um, when she called him, and actually it was a her, she, she called the lady and um, the lady said, okay, I'll do some work on him and they'll just keep me updated. So she did some work from her house, of course. She didn't go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. It was remote. And um, Right. And um, the, the mom called after a few hours and told her that he, is in, he had improved a lot. So, okay, I'll do some more treatments from here and then tomorrow give me an update. Well, the next morning the mom called and she was in a panic and they said that he went backwards, like his condition got worse. And the healer asked, well, what happened? She said, well, I don't know. And she said, well, this doesn't make any sense because he should be progressing nicely. Mm -hmm. And so she asked the mom, please go and talk to the doctors and find out what happened. Well, they, they started feeding him and apparently, and then they gave him um, medication as well. Well, it turned out that the spiritual healer realized she was guided, of course, by her spirit guides, that the medication they were giving him were was creating a side effect of where this kid was getting worse, his condition was getting worse. Oh. So then she told the mom, I don't know how you're going to tell the doctors this, but please ask them to stop giving him that medication. Now think about that. The doctors believed that it was the best thing for him, mm -hmm. and they thought that's what was making him feel better, and the mom had to go in and tell them, um, no, don't give him that. Mm -hmm. now, she has the right to do that. She's, she's a parent. Right. And of course, the doctors refused in the beginning. But then she insisted, said, no, if you don't stop, I'll take him out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. And they stopped. Well, within a few hours of stopping, he walked out of the hospital. I'll find hmm. So it just goes to show that even though we can be effective from the spiritual realm, there are things on the physical plane that can actually take it backwards, whatever we've done, you know? So anyway, so that's, that's one, right? Right. So anyone that goes through that, goes through the category one scenario, we know that it takes them a longer time. You know, that's just the way it is. We don't expect it from what we've seen, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. the, second, in the, the second category though, individuals that come in and they ask if they should take something or uh, what do we think about whether or not they should do this. What do you see with those individuals? With those individuals, um, they normally are open to following whatever the spiritual guidance might be, and they seem to progress at a steady pace. Now, why is it that, why, why do you think, that's, I'm asking, I'm putting you on the spot here, like the lady said, hot spot or whatever the it is. hot seat. Hot seat. Yes. Right? Um, do you have any ideas or do you have a, a, a hypothesis as to why? They, they progress, I say slowly, they, they progress, but it's slower than we'd expect, right? I think it's because, I know for me, when we first started on this journey, I was taking supplements and I was still like thinking to myself, but you know, these supplements have been working or they seem to have been working for me this whole time. Uh, and you're now you're telling me not to take them. So I still had in the back of my mind, maybe I should go back and take those because I'm not seeing the progress. You know, the way I'm thinking it should be. So. That's a very good point. I'm glad you used yourself as an example because right now I told you to stop taking them because you're my wife. <laughs> yes. But we wouldn't <laughs> to somebody unless. No. <laughs> well, the but it's something I didn't, I, I didn't want to take them anyway. Uh -huh. You know, because sometimes those supplements make me feel sick just by swallowing them and mm. having them digest in my body. You know, or even taking ibuprofen for a headache. I didn't want to do that. 
but sometimes it got to a point where there was just so much pain I had to take something mm -hmm. until I you know learned to let go of it myself and just trust that when work is done it will still you know just like it takes 20 minutes or longer sometimes for an Advil to kick in and you feel the effect it's it was the same kind of thing with the spiritual work for me you know that I just have to let my husband know and be patient and sure enough within half an hour like everything would be subsiding so I had to get used to that as well you know I'm right you're talking to me I, I know Why you but I'm still I'm telling knows. the audience <laughs> Wow. <laughs> How many like husbands do you have? Right? You get confused as to who you're no, talking to? No, no, well, just uh, telling the audience my story. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good, that's a very good point about how in the back of your mind, because that's what I was thinking, that you're thinking, well, I wonder, maybe if I just took this, mm -hmm. this would help. Uh, to me, I believe that's why the progress is slower, because see, that becomes what we would call a what? Like a crutch? A negative thought form. Negative thought form. Mm -hmm. Got it? Because now, instead of you seeing yourself healed, you're thinking, well, I, I think if I, only, if I just took this, mm -hmm. I'll be fine. Right. I'll heal faster. Or even just like, oh, if I use this essential oil, you know, it might help it a little bit longer, uh -huh. a little bit faster along the way, you know? Exactly. So what do we, what do, we do in a case like that? When, when that? when that's presented to us, that question. Well, of course, they're asking for the guidance. Should I do this? And the guidance is usually, you know, yes or no. But then we say, but you follow what's comfortable for you. Well, it's not even that. It's gotten to the point now where depending on how it is, mm -hmm. if it's someone that just said, well, you know, I went to the doctor and the doctor prescribed this, should I take this? So that's different because they're not looking to take it. The mm -hmm. doctor prescribed it. Right. They just want confirmation as to whether or not they should. In that case, I go and I get guidance on it for them because they're literally asking for guidance. Okay. But if someone were to come and say, well, you know, I was thinking, if I were to take this, whatever it is, mm -hmm. do you think that would help me? Mm -hmm. In a case like that, I don't even check for guidance because the moment someone has to ask that question is because they already believe that it can help them. Mm. Make sense? Yes. So if, if you tell them, don't take it, unless that's, that's the guidance, it could get to the point where, yes, they might want to follow guidance, but in the back of their minds, they think like what you were saying. But, but what if? Don't take it, exactly. Which mm -hmm. then taints the work. And that's why I tell people now, if they ask me, well, you know, do you think I should take this? I just tell them, you know, if you think you should, go right ahead. Because see, that way, it doesn't affect what we're doing. Got it. And if not, the challenge with that is, for me, that's just, this is from my standpoint, then I don't know, let's say they get healed. I don't know what helped them heal. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know, you know, sometimes I'll try one, I'll try one technique, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'll try a different technique. So if this person is having a challenge after I, I try one technique, I say, oh, maybe I should change technique. But it could be because of a side effect of what they're taking. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't know that because I'm not going to check that because I have nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. She's like, if they choose to do that, then they do that on their own. But it does slow things down, it seems like. You know, because there, there are a lot of moving parts and now we don't know what is affecting what. Now, we're not saying that they shouldn't take it. What we're literally saying is, if you feel better taking it, just like you said, it's better if you take it. Yep, because, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Exactly, because we don't want something to get in the way of the healing process. Mm -hmm. You know, if you say, well, I'm gonna quit taking this, but in the back of your mind, you're thinking, but maybe I should. Then you know what, you should go take it <laughs> because that's going to hold you back if you keep thinking that way. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense of what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so I, I noticed that again, it goes back to the way the person's thinking. It does slow the process and I've seen that. Sometimes it even goes backwards, then we have to do some extra work. Which we don't mind, it's just that uh, it could become a lot of work. Yeah. And then the third one is where the individuals come in and they make it very clear, I want nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. I have two favorite individuals for that. I have one individual, the one that had the migraine for over 20, years, right? Mm -hmm. That would be hospitalized for weeks. 
Yes. Right? Got fired from a job because she was in the hospital too many times. Mm -hmm. I still remember when she sent me the message and then she said, I will not be taking any more of these medications. We didn't discuss that. I didn't tell her, don't take the medication. She said, right. I won't be taking this anymore. I'm done with this. Right? And then I think a year later, she showed me where the doctor was still sending her medication. And she just took them and stacked them in her closet. Mm -hmm. she, remember, she took a picture and yes. said, this is, th these are the boxes they've been sending me. I'm not taking this. Mm -hmm. But since then, she's been healed. She just refused to take the medication. Mm -hmm. She didn't ask me, should I take it? She was like, I'm not taking this. Mm -hmm. See the difference? Yes. It wasn't a question. She's like, I'm not taking it. Done. Then we have the lady that got in a car accident. And when we met her, she could hardly move. Right. She yeah. said that she was supposed to get surgery. She didn't want to have the surgery. And that was her back surgery, right? Yes, for the neck and, uh -huh. and back, yeah. Surgery, imagine. Mm -hmm. And she then they wanted to give her um, painkillers, right, for yes. the pain she was having. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm not taking that. Right, and said she was trying to treat it naturally. So if you notice, her mind was made up and she was not wavering about that. And once we started working with her, not once did she call us and ask, is there anything you think I should be taking? Mm -mm, not, not, at all. Not, not once. She right. just she just said, "Okay, you're doing the work, and that's it." Mm -hmm. And before we knew it, she was completely healed. Mm -hmm. No surgery of any kind. Right. Which really shocked her, because she really thought she had to have surgery. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the doctors told her. Completely healed. Yes. So those are my two favorite stories because they just made it very clear what they were not going to do. Right. You know, and not once did they come back and say, do you think maybe I should take something for this? Mm -mm. You know, just something small, not once, ever. Their healing took place and it's, it's lasted. You know, right. It's been fine. So the bottom line is that, to go back to the question, should you take medication? How would you answer that? You do what makes you feel comfortable. Exactly. Because that only helps the healing process. We don't want to go and get guidance for you and the guidance makes you uncomfortable and now you're questioning whether or not you should do it or you shouldn't. You should follow guidance or not follow guidance. Mm -hmm. That's not a good thing. Right. You know, we want to make sure that you're comfortable and you're sure about what you're doing and that what you're doing is going to lead to your complete recovery. But just make sure you let us know what you're taking. Right. So that way, whatever side effects there might be, those can be handled. So, you have to say anything else? No, that's it. I think right. we got it covered. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Join the Facebook group 190 Vision to connect with others on the same journey. Get help by visiting our website 190vision.com. Support the 190 Vision mission by clicking on the donate button, which is at the bottom of each page of our website.